the express engine and the espresso engine. Long ago, Glyn the coffee pot engine worked the yard at Croven's Gate. He had worked on Thomas's branch line, but now he helped with odd jobs on the east part of the island. One day, a new engine puffed proudly into the station. The engine was Gordon. He had just been to the works and painted in the colours Mr. Topham Hatt liked to see on his engines. Gordon was proud of his new colours and number. Oh, you're a mighty big fellow, aren't you? The fat controller's really building up his collection. I am an express engine. Mr. Hat has purchased me to pull the fastest train on his Northwestern Railway. And who are you? Gordon scowled at Glynn's number one. Name's Glynn. I run freight through this town, and wherever else I'm needed. <clears throat> you can't be one of Mr. Hat's engines. No controller in his right mind would give a number one to a grubby freight engine. Hey now, I wasn't always a grubby freight engine. I used to be a grubby passenger engine. <laughs> Gordon was not amused. Then perhaps it's for the best that you only haunt the sidings nowadays. This is a dignified railway. You're right there, Gordy. We sure are moving up in the world. But you'll never be as fancy as Lowry. Who's Lowry? Oh, you'll see. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me about this... Lowry. Oh, she's quite the looker, all right. Silver paint, two funnels. Two? Helps her steam faster. She's the fastest engine in the world. The fastest engine in the world? And, get this, two tenders. What? Nobody told me about this. I've got to get to Knapford. Left at the junction. Two tenders, faster than me. It can't be. It can't be possible. Oh dear, oh dear. The next day, Glynn was shunting again. Gordon returned through the junction and fumed into the station. There is no Lowry. The men at Knapford must have thought I was insane. Why did you tell me there was an engine better than me? Because I never thought you'd believe it. <laughs> oh, the indignity. Glyn and Gordon scarcely saw each other again after that. But Gordon always strove to be the best. And Glyn knew he already was.